Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and today is Tuesday, January the 17th, 2023, and this is my Floss Tube episode number 67. I would like to say hello and welcome to any and all new subscribers. I thank you so very much for spending some time with me and hope that I can enable you with a project or two that I'm working on. And for all of my returning friends and subscribers, thank you so very much for coming back each and every time that I do upload a video. <clears throat> my voice is a little raspy from this past weekend at Stitch Away. Um, I had planned on doing this yesterday, but was just tired. Um, so we're going to jump right into all of the things that uh, did take place at Stitch Away. And I will be bringing you up to date on where I stand with my whips. And I have some plans to give you also. I had a wonderful time. I left uh, home at 6.30, 6.45. Uh, Wednesday morning and drove to College Park, Ohio, where uh, Houston Woods is, and that's where Stitch Away is put on every year. Um, and I had a good drive up until the point where OnStar wanted to take me to the campgrounds instead of to the lodge. But I did make it um, in time, um, I had breakfast with some friends, and so that was really great. <clears throat> um, and then uh, I actually got to sit down and put in a few stitches on Wednesday morning. Um, and uh, the attendance is a little lighter on Wednesday and Thursday, and the bulk of the people start coming in on Friday. Um, and it was really good. Uh, Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday, I managed to put in, um, a hundred stitches, which was great. Um, and still, you know, floss ar around and talk to people. Uh, by the time Friday and Saturday came around, I was putting in five here, six there. So I didn't get as, as much stitching in, but I can stitch at home. What I can't do is see a lot of uh, people that I am great friends with. And so it was really good to spend some time with some great friends. I will be inserting some pictures, um, hopefully at the end of uh, some of the people that I got to hang around with. Um, this year marks the 25th anniversary of Keepsakes going into business. Um, and so they had... Um, a new, it, I, I believe it's a new, they still show the shop, but they made a new, um, what was the name of that? What is that called? Logo. There's a new logo with 310, um, and those pictures will, I will start inserting some of those pictures here. Um, they have, they are planning um, a really busy year um, with different shop activities and different um, things that they're going to be doing. She was, Miss Barbara was very tight-lipped about a lot of the things with the exception of next year they will be host having Stitch Away for an entire week. Um, it will be the same week before Martin Luther King Jr. Day but it will run from Sunday to Sunday. So as those dates become uh, closer um, and available, I will be able to give you more information about it. Um, they're doing all kinds. I can't wait to show you. There, there was. There's a new bag that uh, we, you know, had we purchased. I purchased one anyway. Um, the designer, the guest designer for this year was JBW Designs, and Miss Judy is wonderful. She had lunch with us on her first day there, and just great conversation. She is a wealth of knowledge in needlework, um, and not just cross-stitch. She has done 
some of all kinds of needlework. And so it was really good to get to spend some time with her uh, talking about all of her endeavors in the world of needlework, um, her designs. We received a new chart that she designed exclusively for Stitch Away. Um, I'll be showing you that in my uh, investment slash stitchy kindness portion of the video. So it was just great. I needed to get away in the worst kind of way. You don't know that you need to get away <laughs> oftentimes until you do get, get a chance to get away. Um, and so it was just wonderful. I um, needed to hang out and spend some quality time with my friends. So um, I will be putting some pictures that Allison is allowing me to. I was so caught up in the moment that a lot of pictures that I wanted to take, like of the annex and um, the stitching room, I just blanked on it and just was taking it all in. Um, and so my friend Allison, um, Alley Cat 13, is allowing me to utilize some of her pictures for that. Um, so thank you, Allison, so very much. I really appreciate you doing that. Um, they will also be put in at the end of the video. The one thing that was really bizarre was is Saturday night before uh, Miss Judy's presentation, the smoke alarms go off. Um, the restaurant was very busy, not just with um, attendees from Stitch Away, but there were also guests coming in and um, the room where we are set up, the stitching room is right off of the kitchen and so the room was filling up with smoke and the smoke alarm started going off and the one thing that um we all thought about was is it's never a dull moment we um you know evacuated the room and they got all the smoke out and everything and we still had a great presentation so it was it was just funny that um i think they said in the 21 years that they have been putting on this event that has never happened so it was it was really weird to watch this smoke just all of a sudden coming in and we could smell it because the hamburgers were smelling so good i actually had a hamburger one day um because i could smell it cooking from the grill and was like today has got to be a hamburger day and so it was just smoke everywhere but it didn't stop us from, you know, doing what we were doing. We waited for the smoke to dissipate. We went right back in and uh, Miss Judy Whitman made her, uh, you know, made, did her speech and talked and um, they showed off the design and it was just so wonderful. It is a sampler design. Um, and so I will be, again, showing you that when I get to the haul portion of the video. So, I am going to go right into my stitching. I had a restart, um, and it is my birthday start, which was Teeny Weeny Bikini January by Meridian Designs. And originally I was stitching this on a 28 count Artemis by Be Stitch Me. Well, my friend Annette brought a bag of fabric that she was giving away. And as I was going through that bag, I was like, oh, I need to restart my teeny weeny bikini on this fabric and so here is what the fabric looks like it is showing a little bit more oh no that's perfect right there and here is where i managed to get to on the restart i am working on the bra for the bikini and so that is the 
you know, side of the one one side of the bra for the bikini. I am going to be continually picking this up back and forth so that I can get some good work on it. But see all that bluish modeling in there? So everybody was like, oh yeah, you have to use that fabric. So I restarted it on Thursday on this fabric and it is a 28 count. Um, it feels like a Monaco. So I don't know who the dyer was. I don't know any of that information, just that it was a 28 count and it feels like Monaco to me. So I am really enjoying that. I did manage to, this was the project that uh, by Friday I was putting in five stitches and then I jump up and go talk to somebody and then I come back and put in three or four more stitches. So it, I'll be getting some more work in on it. I just uh, restarted it because the fabric, that fabric was just so gorgeous. So now I'm going to move over into my whips. As you recall, um, I have been working on Bringo for this month, which is a challenge that is done through the Magazine Monthly Challenge Group. And I am also working through Whip Warriors um, on a road trip from Washington, D.C. to Maine. Um, and we are doing stops in between at different needle workshops as we go along. Right now, I am actually at the casino, um, but I haven't started gambling yet, but I'm there. I, I, I have to stitch in order to be able to gamble, so that's what I'm doing now. So for Bringo, the project that I'm about to show you was called, and it was called for number 15, I'm opening up my calendar so I can tell you what it, number 15 is. Number 15 is a whip that is part of a series. And number 17, which is a whip with a bird. And that whip is... Faith and Endurance by Lori Holt. And see, it has a bird... And it is part of a series because she did the Prim Stitch series. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where I am now. So for the um, stitch on a whip that has a bird. I actually stitched the bird on um, that day, which was on the 16th, which was yesterday. No. No, that's part of a series. I stitched the bird on the 17th, whatever it was called, whatever day that was on. Oh, it was on the 8th. Yes, because I recorded on the 7th, my last video. So, on the 8th, I stitched the bird. And then on the 16th, which was yesterday, I stitched the flower pot and started the flower. And so, here is what the flower will end up looking like when it's completed. This project is also on going to be on my year of whips. However, I think I might need to change because, you know, I could potentially end up finishing this without it being on my year of whips. It has one more call. So it had three days that I would be stitching on it. So if I were to really buckle down, I could potentially have this done no later than February. And the year of whips starts on tomorrow, the 18th. So I'm gonna have to really do some thinking um, if I want to actually put this on there because it's, 
um, you know, I only need to do the flowers and the star over the church and it'll be completed. So, um, so far I have added on the eighth, I added 119 stitches and on the 16th, I added 207 stitches. So I'm moving right along with it. Um, the reason with Bringo, I only need to put in 100 stitches for to meet the challenge. However, because of year of um, because of Whip Warriors road trip um, and me being <clears throat> at the casino, I need to stitch 200 stitches to get into the casino. So I'm doing a little bit of double dipping so that I can get into the casino faster to spend my little pennies. Cause I'm a, I'm a penny slot person. When I gamble, I'm, I go to the penny slots. So <laughs> my next whip is that I used for exclusively for whip warriors. And you all have not seen this in quite some time. It's in my turtle bag that was gift, gifted to me by Miss Susan, Stitch Fancies. And it is Quaker Tur Turtle by RATM. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. Actually, I don't, oh yes, I did show it. It was actually a year ago. I have not worked on this project for one year. Um, it was my birthday start with Lynn X Stitches Creates. And I had the very center motif done, like the smallest part of it. And so now here is where I am. I added um, over, I don't know where my card is. It might've fallen out just now. I added 200 stitches to this project to make it to the casino. And that is where I am. It is still the most inner part of the first shell. The middle shell or the middle motif of the turtle. Uh. So I am right in the middle and I am coming off of that middle motif. I did really, really enjoy it. I need to be looking at pulling out this Quaker Turtle more often because it was really a nice uh, stitch to work on. I am stitching it on a 40 count mystery linen that was gifted to me. And I am using uh, like all my card is missing. It is Forbidden Fiber Co. I received this thread in a pack in a box from uh, Black Needle Society last year. And I am using this thread for Quaker Turtles. I don't know if you can really see that all that good, but that is what the thread looks like. It was in a, um, a box from, uh, oh, it was in the river. It was in the, New Year's box for 2022 and for the river. And that is the name of the floss, the river. I know one thing, I need to find my card. It's the floss name 
is River of Life. There you go. I um, don't know if she, if that is a, if it was an exclusive floss for that particular box or if she has it on sale all the time. But you can check out Forbidden Fiber Co. for that information. I need to look through my calendar and see what day Lynn and I started this. Because now that I think about it, I didn't have a card because we started it at Stitch Away last year. And I wasn't doing cards then, so that's why it's not in there. But I'm going to have to put one in there. Okay. So now... Um, and I used that... To, oh, I said I used it to get to... Sea needles because it was so the prompt was if you can use a whip that's related to the sea for extra challenge and so I used Quaker Turtle for that prompt. The next whip that I worked on I worked on the 12th or it, I'm sorry it was called number 12 and number 12 is Oh, a whip you would take on vacation. And my whip is Progress Pride Flag by MI Studio Creates. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where I am now. So when I last showed this, I had filled in the white and the purple. And this time I have started on the blue. I started on the blue and I put in, <clears throat> pardon me, 113 stitches on the blue. This does have one more call for it. So I will be finishing up that blue when it gets called for again. This project is also on my year of whips. Um, I would like to get it done by June because uh, that is when Pride Month is here in Ohio. So that is my progress Pride flag, where it is right now. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I couldn't figure out why it kept going so dark uh, while I was holding up everything. But I forgot to turn my light on, so I was like, okay, I need to do that, because I was like, super dark. My next project that I worked on for this week was my Sunday Stitches, um, Amazing Grace, which was also my new year, new start for this year. And there is what it will look like when I have completed it. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where I am now. So I have uh, done the word half and I brought the top border over some more. When I last showed it, I 
had up to here completed. And now I've put in half and um, some more of the border to go across. I actually have one, two, three, three more of the little red berry vine to put in. And two and a half of this pod looking motif and then brought me. So um, I'll be using this again for Whip Warriors to get to the casino. I'm gonna use a, a Sunday Stitches song to go to the casino. But, you know, God forgives. Um, <laughs> so I um, can add two more, 200 more stitches to this. Right now I added, as of, well, I added 125 stitches to this on the 10th. So that was half and up to where the stopping point is now. Again, this is such a, an enjoyable piece to work on. It's just now that we are in the thick of Bringo, I am trying to make sure that I stay caught up with Bringo because I really don't want to use the end of the month to have to catch up on a whole lot of projects. I already have one that I'm going to be trying to catch up on. So I'm trying to, because of Stitch Away, one of the projects that got called, I was just like, I'm not even feeling this right now. So I didn't work on it. But now, with me being at, back at home, I'm going to have to work on it. And it's because I need to do some frogging and some seasonal sunshine has really messed me up. Uh, well, I messed it up. So now I have to deal with the consequences of messing it up. But... The next project I worked on was called for number six and number 18. And number six is, sorry, I thought I was really like having this all together. Number six is a season out of whip. Uh, oh yeah, a, uh, a whip out of season. And... Number 18 is remind you of where you live. And for me, that whip is Home Sampler by Doreen Jones. It was in the Just Cross Stitch magazine. Um, and I don't have the date. Oh, it's on the bottom of the... In June of 2019. And here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. <laughs> and here is where it is now. So... I have brought the grass all the way across between the two trees and the um, zig, I'll call it zigzag grass, and the second line of grass. And I have also started the flower vase that will, the flower that it has a vase that goes in on both sides over here. And that is where the words also go. This project is also on my year of whips. And so I will be uh, keeping this on the year of whips. So far, I have added, I added um, on the 14th, which was Saturday, I added 113 stitches. And on the 11th, I added um, 100 stitches. And I'm also using this project for Whip Warriors 
And so it will be getting some more work put in on it so that I can keep moving forward in the group, pardon me, and in my travels. My next project I worked on was number 13, which is work on stitch on your favorite fabric and number 22, which was remind you of a place you'd like to travel. And my num that that project for both of those is <clears throat> temperature butterflies. And I chose this because Wherever butterflies are, it's warm, and I would love to travel right now anywhere where it is warm. And for my favorite fabric, it is on Artemis, which is um, by Be Stitch Me. Here is a picture of where it was when I last showed it. And here is where I am now. So as you can see, I have filled in the, I always get it backwards, the, the left hand side of the butterfly's wings and I'll be work, I filled in his body. And now I will be working on the right side of the butterfly's wings. I have um, this, this butterfly is May and I am working on June's outlining. I think right now I'm going to do all of the outlining and then once I get the outlining completed for June, I'm gonna go in and put the colors because I want to be able to color complete as I go through since June, since May and June's temperatures are similar. Um, so that's where I am right now on Temperature Butterfly. This is by Stitching Mommy and I am stitching it with um, $37.99 for the outlining. And I have chosen Sulky Threads to use for the colors. And I'm stitching it on a 28 count Artemis by Be Stitch Me. And I am uh, re-engaged uh, or reconnected to this project. I, uh, you know, it got to be a lot when I was uh, in the midst of it last year. But now I've picked right back up and am loving that stitch. So it has been really great. And it actually has been, I believe I have like one more call for it or two. Oh, nope. It's done. So I'll be using it now for uh, Whip Warriors. It is also, though, on my Year of Whips. So I will be using it for the Year of Whips also. Oh, and it got called for number three. So three, 13, and 22. And number three is my largest whip. And, and within this group of six, it is my largest whip. So I, I know I have larger whips, period, but this is my largest whip within the group of six that I um, have been working on for Bringo. I just worked on it this morning. I'm like, wait a minute. So that's where I stand with that one. Oops, sorry, I bumped the camera. And my last project for this time is um, number 10 and number 10 
is a whip. Oh, your favorite whip. Mm. Yes, your favorite whip. Sorry, I got like two different numbers because I'm trying to keep track of what day projects are called on. So I have number 10 and number 13. So uh, my favorite whip is StitchCon 2022. This is a, a style that is being, this chart is exclusive to StitchCon attendees for the year 2022. And um, I was in weekend A last year and there are several of us that are doing this as a stitch along. Um, I think they're also doing it in weekend B also. Here's a picture of where it was when I last showed it. <clears throat> and here is where I am now. So I have managed to put in all of the back stitching with the exception of the rest of thread. I've started on the trees over the house and I have put in the scissors. Um, I still need to put in the scissor fob, but I've put in the scissors. So that's where I am with StitchCon 2022. I am uh, using my own thread conversion. I am, I am uh, using over dyed threads with the exception of the red. Um, and um, I have changed the color of the scissors to the handle, making it purple. So as it goes along, I'll be making more color changes um, I'll be sticking with what the colors look like. I'll just be using over dyes instead of DMC. And it's really coming along nicely. The back stitching for the words had me a little worried. Um, but once I managed to get the hang of lining it up and uh, making sure it was correct, it came along nicely. So I'm I'm really pleased with the progress that I've made on it so far. Um, if you recall, I do wanna have this done by the time StitchCon 2023 comes around. I will be going to StitchCon. I am in weekend B for this year. So if you do plan on going to StitchCon and are in weekend B, please let me know in the comments below. And that way I can be sure that we meet up. Oh, I didn't tell you how many. I, I have put in 113, 100 and, oh no, 130 stitches since you last saw this. I put in, I've put in 230 stitches since you last saw it. If you uh, recall at the beginning of this year, at the end of last year, um, and definitely this year, I am counting stitches um, and it's coming along nicely. Um, I'm getting faster at counting them and making sure um, there are some charts where it makes it difficult for me to count them because they're so small, like teeny weeny bikini, the back stitching over all of the symbols. I'm like, is that a symbol or is that just blank with back stitching running through it? But I'm managing very well to come along. I am liking the counting of the stitches. So I will be continuing that on um, for the foreseeable future. So I did have one finish at Stitch Away. Um, I had hoped to have had two, but I, you know, I started fizzling fast with the stitches and made sure. Please hold. 
Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had an important phone call that I had to take. And so now I am back. So when I left, I was talking about my finish that I had at Stitch Away. I finished Bucky the Snowman. And this is what the model looks like. And here is my finish. I um, stitched this on a 14 count fabric flare and I did a thread conversion for this chart. Um, so Bucky is still missing the eye slit um, for his eye, which is a back stitch. So I'm gonna get that put in. And he is missing um, the buttons. He is juggling buttons in this picture. I, however, am going to be, I've found someone sent me a link for um, snowflakes that would be small enough to put in here. So what I'm going to have is him juggling snowflakes instead of snowballs. So this is my Bucky. It only took 98 stitches to finish him, 94 stitches. Um, and so he was part of my whip go, um, and it was number six, uh, whip closest to a finish. So my question to you all is, would you take the rest of those stitches, 600 stitches and move them to a different project? Or would you just Call this finished and be done with it. I have been teetering back and forth with what to do. Um, I am trying to get a blackout on my board for WhipGo this year. So I'm just trying to see what I should do. Um, if I should move those 600 stitches to another project, like maybe Home Sampler or... Um, I don't know, another one of my WhipGo projects um, to see, you know, about getting more stitches in. So what would you do? Would you stitch 600 stitches on something else to make for the 700 stitches? Or would you just call this good and not have, not worry about the other 600 stitches because it didn't take seven. My WhipGo goal is to stitch 700 stitches on a project through the year. Um, thank you, EJ. Um, and, you know, he only took 94 stitches. So let me know what you would do. But that is my Bucky. He is completed. Um, I'm hoping to get the buttons ordered uh, tomorrow. And maybe you'll get to see him before. Well, I already have decorated with uh, my snowmen and snowflakes. So he'll be up once I get him finished until March. So hopefully next week I will have a completed FFO. And that is my, those are my projects, my whips for this week. I am... <laughs> have really been busy and I don't mind being busy when it comes to my stitching. So it's been really good. I am enjoying all of the uh, groups that I'm in and everything that I'm participating in. It is uh, definitely keeping the monotony down. You know, the winter time, um, especially if you have seasonal uh, effect, if seasonal affective disorder or whatever it's called, like I do, uh, winter can be very uh, mundane and depressing because it's no sun out shining. Um, there was one day that it rained all day while we were at Stitch Away, and then the next day it spit snow 
flurries all day and then the next day the sun just came out and lit up everything it was wonderful so i was uh, happy to enjoy some great sunshine so we're gonna move right into my plans right now i am um 1300 stitches away from being able to go into the casino so i'll continue working on projects to get me um into the casino for the road warrior trip. It has been fascinating learning um, all the ins and outs of this group um, and I am really, really enjoying it. So, and then I uh, need to get caught up on a Bringo project, Seasonal Sun Sign. Um, and so I'll be working to get caught up with that. And for these next, a uh, few projects I'll be stitching over the hundred stitches so that I can make it on the road warrior road trip um, more quickly um, than what I have been and then tomorrow actually starts the year of whips if you are participating or if this is the first time, if you are not participating or if this is the first time that you are hearing about Year of Whips, it is being um, hosted by Melanie Watkins, the Soulful Stitcher, and um, she has put out a YouTube video. I will link her below um, what the requirements are for the Year of Whips. I have chosen six projects, all of which you have seen me working on um, because I put those in Bringo also for this time. So um, I will be setting up my album in the Facebook group. If you would like to join in, um, I have the Facebook group links below um, and you can. there's still time for you to get your um, album set up. Tomorrow is the start date because it is her birthday, so I would like to wish her a happy early birthday uh, on tomorrow, and I'll be getting that put together tonight so that I'm, I, I have procrastinated all the way up until today um, because I've been stitching on them, so I didn't want to post them until we were right up to the day, so... That's why that is like that. <clears throat> Pardon me. I have a lot of uh, investments slash stitchy kindness um, and um, some haul. So I'm going to clear this table of all of my projects and get that together. And I will be right back. So one of the first gifts that I got was from Lynn, X Stitches Creates. Um, we share birthday month, um, and she made me this beautiful turtle bag, and it has a purple lining in it. There is purple in the turtles also. This is a batik fabric, um, and so it has all different shades of colors in it. And you can see the little turtles. And I know it's going to look blue, but it is actually purple. The same with my shirt. It looks blue, but it is purple. And then there were um, some, so she made me a Franklin needle minder. Every time I cover up my face, the thing goes dark. And he is so cute. And then she got me a couple of charts for my birthday. Um, here's one from Stitch Rovia. Morning has broken. Coffee has spoke. The coffee has spoken. And then she got me a couple of Lizzie Cates because I like snowmen. And so she got me a baby. It's cold outside. And she also got me ice queen. She also, oh, here it is. She made, um, she also got me 
I love this tea. Um, it's uh, vanilla bean macaron and some honey sticks to go with it. And a cute little traveling notions kit with my initial on it. And it has in it um, a cute little butterfly needle minder, a pair of tweezers. I'm uh, gonna see. Oh yeah, there it goes. And some flosses. So this is gonna be going in my stitchy bag for when I go on retreats. Everything is right there in the bag or in the box. So thank you so very much, Lynn. I, you know how much I appreciate it. We um, we already had talked about talked about this, and so I really, really appreciate it so very much. And then I received from my friend Janet Jabber a whole. I love honey sticks. So um, we were in a tea exchange and she sent me some and I was just raving about them. So when I got to stitch it, when she got to stitch away, she had a whole jar full of them for me, um, for me to use with my tea and on my biscuits. Um, and I love honey. So thank you so very much. She also gifted me this wonderful cup because I love uh, now the name just went out of my head the name of the show Bridgerton I love Bridgerton so she also got me this wonderful cup so I can use it for my tea And then I received, these were all gifts I received at Stitch Away. Um, one of my friends, her name is Sue F. She got me this, she gave me this little box for Valentine's Day. And inside there is a, a stash tea, a thread card, some more thread drops with a heart jewelry on it. Oh. And some Twizzlers candies. It has all kinds of candies on it. And it also has a red DMC. And I think it's 816 it is. And an 816 DMC thread. I thought this was the cutest little gift. Um, so thank you so very much, Sue. I really, really appreciate it. I hadn't I hadn't even thought about Valentine's Day yet. So this will definitely get me in the mood for Valentine's Day. It'll probably be the only Valentine's Day gift I get, but I'm thankful for it. My next um gifts i'm gonna show you that afterwards so now we're gonna go on that was a uh, stitch away stitchy kindness i also received some birthday stitchy kindness um i came home on sunday and thankfully it was still sitting out there because the postman just put it on the steps but i received from my friend carolyn zook um, a bag of DMC floss, and I'll show you why in a second. And this, which I'm like super excited about, it is a 27 count celery simplicity banding, um, and it says it's a full yard so. That is making it look really gray, but it is a very pretty green. I put the board away, didn't I? Yes, that is much better. That's the color it is right there. And she also sent me 
ink circles, turtles all the way down. And I have this pattern already, so I um, am keeping this one and I already have gifted the other one to someone else. But I am so thankful because the what was holding me up was the banding part. And so now that I have that, I'm going to keep this all together and I will get started on it soon. Thank you so very much, Carolyn. I really appreciate it. My next, look, I still got it in the little bag that it came in. Um, okay, so I received my Classic Color Works Floss, Floss, Frenzy, mm -mm. Floss Fix from the Fat Quarter Shop, and I had uh, mentioned to you all last time that I received these that they were now switching over to alphabetical order. And so I received 12 grain, amber, almost amber, 12 grain, almost amber, amber waves, amethyst, which is being really blown out by the board, antique lace, and apple fritter so it'll go all the way through the a's and then the b's and the c's um this is going to be perfect timing i have been trying to set up um a different way to store my over dyed threads and i have the materials so now will be the perfect time for me to get that all set up and that is exactly what i'm going to do when I get closer to um, having it all set up, I'll share it with you. I'm sure you've seen it before, but I will be getting that set up so that I can um, have better organization when it comes to my floss because I have two boxes. I have the full set of DMC. Then I have Classic Color Works and... Weeks Dye Works, then I have Silk, then I, now I have this, you know what I mean? So I need to get uh, my flosses better organized so that when I do do a color conversion, I'll know what where I'm looking and what I'm looking at. So that was my floss fix for this time. I also received my color and cotton and this I get a 28 count Lugana and this month it is Snowy Pine. Looks like somebody's pulling up at my house and turning off their lights. So I may have to pause you again And here is what that it looks really gray, but it is actually a really pretty green. It's very light. But it's very pretty. I do get a quarter yard of that, so. Her um, fabric is the only fabric count that I did not change for 2023. The other two I have changed. So um, I moved be stitch me to a 32 count and I moved rogue stitching to a 36 count. So I'm just waiting to see if somebody's going to knock on the door and then Albert goes crazy and all of that. <clears throat> okay. 
So I received another gift from uh, my friend Denise and she made me a Columbus shirt and it says stitching is in my heart and it is uh, marked where Columbus is. It's a long sleeve t-shirt. I loved it when I saw it. And so she made me one. Um, I am not for sure if she sells t-shirts or not. I'll have to ask her and see. Um, but she did make this for me and I can't wait to wear it. I was uh, almost wore it today. Um, but then I was like, oh no, I haven't showed it yet. Let me, I have on another, I wear uh, cross stitching t-shirts now all the time. I have a lot of them. And so since I work from home, I can wear whatever I want to wear. So I just wear <laughs> cross stitching t-shirts all the time. I think, let me show you what I purchased at the annex. Um, so again, um, there was a trunk show and artist designs was part of the trunk show. Autumn Lane Stitchery, Sue Hillis, Bent Creek. And I know there were a couple more you'll see in the pictures, um, when at the end of the video, this is going to be a long video. Um, but for JBW Designs, I purchased the Snowflake, French Country Snowflake. And you know, I did not realize this, um, but um, Miss Judy talked about she stitches her own models. And not only does she stitch them once, she stitches them twice. So she stitches it the first time, 28 count over one. And then the second time, she stitches it 28 count over two. So can you imagine, like, first of all, stitching all of your own models and then having to stitch them twice? But that is exactly what she does. So it was amazing to me to hear her um, talk about that. Because I have a hard enough time stitching one chart met or less stitching another chart twice so so that was snowflake and then from artist 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 designs i picked uh, purchased peace on earth I also picked up, well, I can't show you that really, not right this second. So, another friend, the Rose, gifted me some wooden uh, floss tags, and she gifted me two sets of them. And then I had a bowl that was full, full. Of course, it's empty now, but it was a it's a Pioneer Woman little glass bowl that was filled with candy. And then um, a needle minder that is a flip flop. And then a needle minder that says "Blow it out your ditty bag," and it is the uh, Golden Girls. It's not going to focus. I'm trying. But those were the two needle minders that I received. Then my friend Karen passed out this little bag and it has charms in it. And there's, there's a Joy 2022, 2023, 2024, and a charm that has, um, it's a pumpkin face. For Halloween, which I really, I don't celebrate Halloween, 
So she said, oh, well, you could give it away. <laughs> so I'll have to find somebody to uh, gift that to when it gets closer to Halloween or October, one or the other. So the other thing, so now I'm going to show you what the uh, pattern was that she designed and all the accoutrement that came with it. So here is the chart that was designed exclusively for Stitch Away. And it's called the Bluebird of Happiness. And the model was stitched on Was, I thought I had it right here. The model, there's actually four different charts in this one booklet. The sampler and a pin cushion, a pin keep and a needle book and a scissor file. So the model was stitched on a uh, 32 count R&R &R linen, French vanilla, and they give sizes for 32, 36, and 28. And that is what it looks for. The colors are classic color works, which were also provided. So the floss was provided for this chart. So that's the palette. Oh, I just found that, um, and it looks like it's just enough to do the chart. And then in there were also stickers. Are these stickers? Yes, they're Bluebird stickers. So I'll have to put that in my um, calendar book. Oh, and then there's a um, a framing coupon if um, you want to get your piece framed like it is in the book. So the frame, this is the framing that was done, and there's a coupon for it in the chart. And I purchased 36 count, and the name... I can't pronounce it, but it's R, no, it's F-R-I-E-Z-E, -E. um, and this is what it looks like. It has pink modeling in it also, but the camera is really blowing it out, or the light. Um, you can see a little bit of the pink in it there. So that is what I will be stitching mines on. And I'm thinking that I might do this as a spring um, start. You know, the you know, it's the bluebird of happiness. And the chart says, may the bluebird of happiness always reside within you. And it has wrought by, and it has uh, JBW, and it has 2023. It's very, very pretty. I'll show it again. And, and I can't show you the charts for the scissor fob and the pin keep and all of that because it's just the charts inside the... But it all came in this really pretty, which I had not seen these bags this big before. So I was like, man, they make those bags in all sizes. Sorry, I'm thinking it's just the wind blowing against my door. Because Albert's not barking, so. That means nobody's trying to come in. Then we also um, received this chart. Let 
No, these are all freebies. And I can't show them because they're just the charts. So we received, this is our welcome package. And it has a message on it for Miss Barbara. We also received this beautiful wooden needle minder. And I believe that mine is a, not Sparrow. I think it starts with an S. But anyway, that's what my bird is. Everyone, not everyone, certain people had hummingbirds and, oh look, the name just came to me and now it's gone again. But there were like four or five different birds that were given out um, as a gift for the needle minder. And then a page of stickers. And because this is the 20th, 25th anniversary year of Keepsakes opening, their anniversary is actually in August. Um, they put 310 on here with a little heart. And um, if you know, the, the bags are green gingham. Gingham? Maybe not gingham. What is that called? checkered it's green checkered um so all of the stickers have checkers on them and there's the house with the 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 house there's the shop and all of the little stickers i've already put two of them in my uh, three of them in my calendar to remind me of the fun that i had this weekend this past weekend and so now there was one more gift, and this is what, um, and I can't show it either because it's just the pattern, but it is a pin pillow, um, and it came with the finishing supplies. So this is the finishing supplies for the pin pillow that we have the chart for also. So those are the three fabrics, and then there is a bird's nest with three eggs in it and a button so it'll be interesting for me to uh, see how to put this together oh i didn't even show you oh my goodness i gotta make sure i show you and then it also came with uh floss cards so we were given this um on friday night and it has the rick rack that goes with it we were given this on friday night and then on Saturday night, we were given the bigger chart and all the flosses. So while we were at Stitch Away, Miss Susan always puts on a class every year. And this year, she had us make tomatoes. And so I made a tomato pin keep. I'm going to have to find some cute pins to put in there. Um, it was super simple, like... If you know me, you might be getting a tomato pin cushion. It was so easy um, to do, even down to making the little stem and everything. And mine's just coming off. I'm going to have to dab it with a little bit of glue. But it was so easy to do. Just so easy. And so I really enjoyed um, that um, activity. It, I took the class on Thursday. So... There's that. And I have one more thing. This has all been so fun, um, even with my throat. Now my throat is like, Rrr. I have to show you. So here is a canvas bag. And these were on sale at the shop. And... 25 years and so many stitches and then I also purchased the uh, Christmas ornament limited edition collector's book by JBW designs 
but I don't only have one. There is also one for one of my lucky viewers. So if you would like to be entered in a drawing to win the canvas keepsakes bag and the chart by the chart booklet by JBW Designs, um, we're going to say anniversary. So the keyword for the comments will be anniversary and this will be coming to you. So I have one for me. And one for you. And so please make sure to comment. Please do not say giveaway, free things, you know, all the little keywords that bring the trolls. Please be over 18 so that I can get your address, so that I can have your address. Um, and it will be open for. I am going to keep this open until the 28th. Um, since my video is in the middle of me um, recording, because I have gotten on Saturday recording schedule and I want to keep that schedule. So I'm going to leave it open through the 28th. I will... Um, probably record a separate video and post the winner of the stitch along or the bag and the, it is one gift. So you get both the bag and the booklet. Um, and the keyword is anniversary. And now I need to write that down because I will forget. I'll be like, what did I say it was? And then I have to watch the video all over again in order to get the word. Well, I am going to have three different videos for plus pictures to edit in this video. So I think I have just about said everything that I wanted to say. I do want to remind you that there will be, um, if you are not already subscribed, Keepsakes does have a YouTube channel. They also have a newsletter that you can sign up for. They will be having activities every month in celebration for their 25th anniversary. Please go over and subscribe to their YouTube channel and subscribe to the newsletter. Um, it is not, uh, the newsletter comes out once a month. It's not a whole, you know, it doesn't come out weekly or anything like that. Um, so that you too can participate in the anniversary celebration with Keepsakes which is my not so local needle workshop that I love all of those women so much. Um, they are fabulous. So if you are looking for a not so close to not so local needle workshop, I would ask you to consider keepsakes to be your shop as well. I thank you all so very much. I know that this uh, video is like here and here and here and here. Um, I had a lot to share and a lot to show. And so I appreciate you sticking in and hanging in with me. And until I see you again, take care of yourselves, be kind, and I will see you next time. Bye.
Hello everyone, this is Candy, the 614 Stitcher, and I am doing the giveaway from episode number 64. Um, where I was giving away the Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Quarterly. I have entered the URL for the video. I have filtered by duplicate users and put in the text of exclusive. And um, there is 21 comments. And so now I am going to start the random giveaway. Good luck, everyone. Linda Fastoli, Fastola, hi Candy, exclusive, great seeing you today, love Fat Quarter Shops charts, so vintage looking, please feel better, see you soon, I just seen you at the retreat this past weekend, so congratulations, and now we'll go back to our regularly scheduled, well, viewing, maybe. This might be the end of the video. Have a good evening if it is. Bye.